Hey guys, I just came back from a run, not all sweaty and gross, and I thought, what better time to talk about, about health, but what does that smell? I'll be back. One particularly long shower later, we're back to the sofa. A lot of you guys have been writing in and sending me questions. And first of all, thank you. I just, I just want to teach biology. So I love answering questions from you guys. And I had quite a few about sweat and body odor. So I figured what better time to answer them than, you know, right now. So why does sweat smell so bad? It may surprise you that it doesn't. When sweat leaves your body, it's actually mostly water and some salts and dissolved electrolytes and some tiny amounts of other compounds like urea and ammonia, which come from the breakdown of proteins. It's odorless when it's produced. Once it gets onto your skin though, it becomes fair game for bacteria who like to break down things, especially if they're protein related. Byproducts of those bacteria can really smell. People have different body odors for different reasons. They depend on things like the bacterial colonies living on your skin, your diet, your age, your hormone levels, and your general health. This was a really great question. If you sweat everywhere, why do your armpits smell worse than your elbows? It's actually not the same kind of sweat necessarily. You have different kinds of sweat glands. Over your entire skin, you pretty much have these glands called eccrine glands, and they make the kind of sweat that we were just talking about, the mostly water, a little bit of salt, stuff like that. You also have other glands called apocrine glands. They actually produce a milkier, protein-rich, kind of greasier fluid that becomes really important to the bacteria on your skin. You don't smell the same everywhere because apocrine glands aren't everywhere. You have more of them in places like your armpits or your groin than you do on, say, your elbow. Fun fact, you also have them on a few smaller areas like your eyelids, but you can't sniff your eyelids. But if you sniff other people's eyelids, you have questionable social skills. Why don't little kids smell as bad as teens and adults? Easy. So those apocrine glands we were just talking about they're largely dormant when you're little and they really get switched on by changes in hormones, like when you go through puberty. As people's hormones change, their personal smell can change, such as in the case of pregnancy. Why do feet smell bad? Feet are not an area that have these apocrine glands necessarily, but feet can really stink. Here's the clue. It's not your feet, guys. It's your shoes. When we are keeping our feet in shoes and socks frequently, we allow that sweat to build up and accumulate, and then it's there longer for bacteria to break down more and make some pretty gnarly smelling compounds. And the last question, I had a couple of people ask this or some version of it, how can I smell better? There's a lot of products out there. So some of them are gonna be deodorants and some are antiperspirants. What's the difference? Deodorants, don't stop you from sweating, but do kill the bacteria directly on your skin and at least slow it from repopulating so you have a little bit longer before you start to smell funky again. Antiperspirants can have compounds in them, like some aluminum compounds, that dissolve in sweat and make a gel-like coating that then blocks that sweat gland from being able to release any more sweat onto your skin. No sweat, no bacteria to break it down, you smell better. There's also things like perfumes and body sprays that can make someone smell better. Please, I'm begging you, don't abuse these. A lot of you guys are in middle school and high school and you haven't yet figured out one of the most important things about these body sprays. It's actually one of the most important things about your body odor. You can't usually smell yourself. You have something called olfactory adaptation where your nose and your sense of smell just kind of get used to things that are more steadily around, and then you ignore them. This is why you can't smell your own breath. This is why you may not know if you have some bad BO. 
And this is why after a few minutes with your perfume on, you don't smell it. Please resist the urge to put on more. If you have so much on that people are coughing or sneezing or paint is peeling off the walls, you've gone too far. A little bit goes a long way and nothing smells better than just being your clean self. Thanks again for writing in to me. If you have any other questions, please send them to me. I miss doing this. And if you're so inclined, feel free to click like or subscribe or check out any other videos on this channel. Take care. I hope you're well. Bye.